bar and one is written as a a in the case of so sum of the product and how how you can write down in the sum of the product what is the meaning of sum of the product so sum of the product means product of sum product of sum like you can write down uh, a uh, b dash plus uh, plus a b plus a dash uh, uh, b b like this one yes so this uh, and here the what is the function here so function is a and b so this is equal to a b so a and b is a two variables two variables and sum of the product just to see that how, how you can say this is the sum of the product so here i am first product so i am writing a dot b dash then sum so i am writing here a plus then again product and here the sum so this this is this is called a soft form this is called a soft form and what is the meaning of the soft form zero is a bar and one is a a so to, so what is the meaning so a is a is or you can say a is one so so i'm writing a is one and a bar is zero zero so a is one and bar is zero again i'm writing here one one and zero one understood a means 1 so b is simple so 1 b is simple 1 yes and what is the binary number binary this is a two bit number so just uh, just told that what is the 0 1 0 is binary is 1 so simply i am writing here the m1 and what is the value here 1 0 so we can write down here the m2 this is 2 and 1 1 this is the binary 3 so this is called m1 m2 and m3 so here you can write on this function you can write on this function is as a function of ab is a two variables and here you can use a, a, a summation of a summation of that is called the mean terms of uh, uh, values m1 m2 m3 so this is the mean term or you can write down this is equal to mean of 1 2 3 like this one so this is the function of ab this is the concept of a uh, sum of the product so is anyone have any doubts any query up to this point how to represent the sum for sum of the products is that clear or anyone have any doubts any query sir please once sir. repeat it yes sir so yes. everyone is telling just repeat the last part again sir last line so, so suppose i am choosing just uh, suppose i am writing here a function uh, here i am using a function suppose i'm writing here the function is a b and c yes and this is equal to this is equal to a b c plus plus a b c dash plus a b dash c plus a dash b dash c dash so this is the representation of sop this one is the representation of representation of sop anyone have a problem what is the meaning of sop sum of the product so sum of the product means product ka sum this is a product this is a product this is a product this is a product so sare product ka sum that is called sum of the product yes sop form and in the sop form you also know that if a is given that you can write down here one and if a bar is given then you can write down zero that is the fix so here a a means 1 b b means 1 c c means 1 here 1 1 c dash that's why zero here a b dash zero here the one a dash zero b dash zero c dash zero or you can say that triple zero means zero so we can write down here the zero 
one zero one is the five, so you can write down the five. Six, so you can write down the six. Triple one is seven. So this expression can be written as can be written as a b c three variables is equal to mean. This is called a mean. Mean. This is called a mean. Mean of mean of a uh, zero, five, six, and seven. Is that clear? Or anyone have any doubts? Any problem? Clear, sir. And this form is representation. This form is called. This form is called a uh, canonical form. Canonical form. Yes. This form is called a uh, canonical expression or canonical forms. So, can you spell canonical ones? Yes, and uh, uh, and each product term here the each product terms. So, I'm writing here the each product terms in a sop. Each product terms. Each product terms. Is known as known as each product term is known as mean terms. Mean each product is known as mean mean terms. Each product is known as mean term. So how many mean terms are here? Four mean terms. So first, second, third, and fourth. So total four mean terms is given. Mean terms are or are also called uh, called uh, or or implicant implicant. So in uh, in your interview or in any competition examinations, just the expression is given and questions is find how many mean terms, how many mean terms. So each product term is known as mean terms. Or how many implicant? So number of mean terms is called number of implicant, and just a condon one, two, three, four. So here a four mean terms is there. Four implicants is there. Four implicants is there. So up to this point, anyone have any doubts, any query? And no, yes, no doubt, sir. No, sir. Everything clear, sir. Okay. Now, now I'm discussing with you a uh, pos form. P O S. This is called a uh, product. Product of sum. Product of sum. So product of sum, this is just opposite of a sum of product. So product of sum, that means uh, you can write down the expression. Just now I'm choosing a function. Suppose uh, suppose the function is uh, a and b, a and b. Just everyone remember that the so pos is opposite of so. So function is a and b, and you can write down like this one up. Product of sum means uh, a plus b, and it's the product a dash plus b. Yes, or, or, or you can uh, write down this one into a plus b dash. So this is three parts. So what is the here the product, here the product, and then sum. So how do you read this one? Sum of product, sum and it's the product. And another thing is the important for and how many variables here? Two variables. Two variables are there, a and b. So in the pos form, in the pos form, uh, a means a means zero, and a dash means one. A dash means one in the pos form. So how to represent this one? So, so, so we can write down this one. A is zero. A is zero, and 
b is so 0 plus 0 here the given the values that is equal to so no need to write on the plus no need to write on the plus just you can write on here the values is 0 here the values is sorry here, here you can write on the values is a is 0 b is 0 and then uh, a dash a dash means here 1 and what is the values uh, b b is 0 and here a is 0 and b dash b dash is 1 so so this is the max term this is the max term so here the values is just i'm writing a capital m so 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 2 and 0 0 is 3 0 yes so this is how many mean terms here there three mean terms three mean terms 0 1 2 and how you can write down this f of a b is a two variables and you can write down the product that is the called the max term of max term of 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 this is the max term or somewhere the written as uh, 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 written as the max of uh, 0 1 2 so anyone have a problem up to this point